100,000 stocks in my head. One goal in mind, to try to make you mad money. Got a lot of presents in the mail, and I really love the ones from anyone in the armed forces. Thank you for serving. Uh, Lieutenant Ian Smith from Fort Bliss sent me this pretty terrific camouflage outfit. Looking for an occasion to use it. I've got one because I have the CEO of Ceridine on, one of the great Pentagon suppliers, a stock we've been behind, oh, Lord knows for how long. And i got to tell you something. It's been just a huge, huge winner. They make the body armor, but they're doing much more than that these days. So on the line now is Joel Moskowitz, president and CEO of Ceridine. Joel, good to have you back again. Thank you very much, Jim. It's good to be on the phone again. Well, you know, uh, I've had you come on many times to answer the bears. You have effectively every time. You've made a fortune for my viewers, and I appreciate it. Ceridine had been, uh, a lot of the bears were saying, oh, come on, Jim, it's just a one-product company. All it does is do this body armor. How about these new initiatives you're doing in nuclear? I think they're darn exciting. Explain them to your viewers who are often your shareholders. Yeah, I'll be happy to do that. You're absolutely correct. We are more than just the one-trick pony, as they say. And uh, we have made a major move into incorporating a ceramic known as boron into aluminum, ending up with a metal matrix composite that will be used uh, to, um, to shield, uh, to be used as a, a nuclear waste containment. We've opened the factory up in Canada, and we announced last week the acquisition of a, a smaller division of Eagle Pitcher that has been separating the isotope boron-10 from boron, which makes it five times more effective. And we plan to make a major effort globally uh, in the use of our materials in uh, what they call a neutron absorption for controlling the radiation, not only for the spent fuel rods, but also in the actual operation of the nuclear power plant. Yes, see, I think this extension of your business is huge because anybody who thinks that you don't, you're going to run out of steam in 2008, 2009. That's what the bears tell me. You got a whole new line. In the meantime, there have been some reports that there had been a better form of body armor. Uh, NBC did some. I thought it was good reporting by my friend uh, Lisa Myers. But apparently, you know, there's a back and forth here. Where do you stand with the government right now versus that Dragon product? Well, the product that you're referring to is called Dragon Skin. And uh, it really hasn't been a competitive product to Ceridine. That was the whole idea of the NBC a report that you just said. Actually, uh, they have been debarred uh, only recently by the United States Air Force. They've been proposed for debarment as if this moment the United States government isn't even allowed to give them wow. contracts. Okay. And so there's a lot of issues. Uh, and even if there wasn't, it really doesn't affect Ceridine. It's it. not an issue. All right, Joel Moskowitz, President and CEO of Ceridine, friend of Kramerica, friend of Mad Money, made us a lot of money, and will continue to do so as that stock seems to be slated for par. Genuine Wall Street gibbers for $100. Stick with Ceridine. Stick with Kramer.